There is one thing that Mordhau does better than Chivalry 2. You probably think it's Mordhau becoming a free to play on Epic Games, but you are wrong. And in this video we will talk about what exactly is Mordhau doing better than Chivalry 2 and how it greatly affects community, gameplay and fun in both games. Because this one thing is the reason why I always keep coming back to play Mordhau instead of Chivalry 2. I'd love to mention that I have put a lot of effort into this video and I would definitely recommend to watch until the end. Chivalry 2 is son of the old Chivalry Medieval Warfare. It's the same game with fresh graphics, new maps, different combat mechanics and worse customization. Yeah, the customization in the old shift was better. But we could say that, generally speaking, Chivalry 2 is an upgrade to the old Chivalry Medieval Warfare. For example, you can do things you couldn't, like pick up weapons from dead bodies and not only weapons, but almost anything and use it in combat. You can also interact with the environment to trigger deadly traps. I personally appreciate all these little details because they push the level of creativity and fun to the next level. However, there is one thing where creativity and a lot of potential fun is killed and where Mordhau is certainly better. Chivalry 2 has taken a lot of things from the old chivalry and one of those things was also the class system. Although it received a new code, the subclasses, with different weapons and utility to choose from, you are still locked onto some amount of HP, movement and stamina with limited options. And this is where Mordhau definitely shines, in my opinion. In Mordhau, you have 48 points to create your loadout of dreams. You can choose to spend all these points on the things you want in your loadout. You invest them in weapons, utilities, armor or perks. This allows players to create their own unique loadouts that fits their playstyle or to experiment with new loadouts when they get bored of the old ones. This loadout system is balanced by cost of the items. Stronger usually means more expensive. If you invest too much in armor, you will have less points for weapons and perks and vice versa. But you are the one to decide. You can try out loadouts like Knight with an Axe or Speed Inked Mallman or Combat Engineer that supports the team with spawn banners or Heavy Armor Tank with no weapons who is relying on picking up weapons from the battlefield or Sneaky Player with Bear Traps or Fist Fighter with all perks but no weapons or armor or Combat Medic or... the list goes on. In Chivalry 2, this is simply not possible. You will always be locked onto the subclasses, which got me bored approximately after 500 hours. You are also very limited in customization. Chivalry 2 has usually 4 armors for every class, and each of these 4 armors has some kind of style, usually ranging from cheap, poor looking, to normal, to rich and fancy looking. And although some of them are okay, I never liked many of these options. What is definitely better is that in Mordhau you can choose all the pieces of armor individually. You choose whether your armor will be light, medium or heavy. You can choose its appearance and customize it. Your helmet, neck, shoulders, arms, hands, legs and boots. Not only this, you can also choose styles of the clothing and choose the metal tins as well. And the same goes for weapons. Most of the weapons has multiple skins that can be customized to your liking, again with wrap colors, metal tints or wood color. But I must agree that weapon customization in Chivalry 2 is actually not that bad. It still follows the same spirit like clothes, where you have one model of weapon, its poor battleborn version and fancy version. This freedom of choice in Mordau has a huge effect on gameplay, community and fun and I didn't realize until now. And I'm gonna say it. Mordau has Team Fortress 2 energy. Mordau is sometimes a social game just like TF2 where players like to chill out, die for fun, play music, do emotes and other fun stuff. I must say that I have not experienced anything like this in Chivalry 2. The player base is very boring and serious. Nobody is using the voice commands, meanwhile in Mordhau, most of the players use voice communication 
that it's a very good source of fun and unique situations. Chivalry 2 forces everyone to look the same and also makes you look really medieval, not leaving any space for French maids, dwarfs or shreks, which makes the game so serious. I am not saying this is necessarily a bad thing, but for me, Mordhau definitely wins this one, and this is the reason why I keep coming back. I love the freedom, I love the diversity, and I love the social experience that just makes your day better. In Chivalry 2, you can be an engineer, archer or knight, but in Mordhau, you can be anything you want and everyone will find a role that suits him well. Many thanks! thanks. I shall soon get it! Yeah. Yeah.